What is your official title? My official title, editorial cartoonist. I always say my job description is to read the paper, crack a joke, draw a picture, and turn it in. How does one become an editorial cartoonist? I kind of fell into it myself. I was at the University of Minnesota and I needed a job. And I saw an ad for illustrators in the Minnesota Daily. So I sent in my stuff and they hired me to draw pictures to go with uh, movie reviews and reporter stories. I quickly saw that the staff cartoonist was being paid more than the illustrators. So I waited until there was an opening in his chair and I hopped in and I've been doing it ever since. And if that's not very impressive to you, you should consider how few peers Steve has left in his industry. I'm part of a dying breed. There is fewer than 50 right now, full-time, on-staff newspaper cartoonists. When I started in the business about 40 years ago, there were maybe 350. So the trends are not good. So why did his ink not dry up? Well, pretty simple. He's one of the best there is in that line of work. He won the Pulitzer Prize in 2013. That's the most prestigious award in American journalism. What's funny about that is Steve doesn't really consider himself well, a traditional journalist. And I guess I look at myself more as a reader, just a typical reader who happens to be a smarty pants and know how to draw. Steve says he spends most of his day, more than half of it, reading all of the news to narrow down what's the biggest story of the day, because it's that story that's going to inspire what he draws. There really isn't one particular process. I wish there was. I often hear that question. All cartoonists are asked that question. And when they're asked that question, I lean forward to hear the answer because there must be an easier way to do it than my floundering. Well, it's worked well for a while. So far. <laughs> Laughing about cartoons, that makes sense, right? But if you have seen Steve's cartoons, you know they're not always meant to make you laugh. The hardest ones are the ones I talked about where there's a huge important event that that you know that that has to be the cartoon of the day. You know, one example is um, the Jacob Wetterling case that was very traumatic for this state, for the country. And I did a number of cartoons on that and none of them were in any way humorous or amusing, but they still were able to, I hope, touch people in a way that shared our, our common anguish about what happened. Those drawings were so powerful, some of his most memorable, which is saying a lot when you consider that Steve has more than 8,000 drawings completed over four decades. Do you have a favorite? No, I, I always say that they're all my children and I love them equally. Um, some of them I want to lock away, never to be seen again, but there's not one in particular that I'd say this is the best I've ever done. I hope to draw that one next week. <laughs>